Mr. George Hamilton, the one-legged pineapple farmer, was visited by Mr. Hendrix from Rather St. Elizabeth. And I want to say big up to the subscriber who reached out to me. And somewhat guide me as to how to approach them so in today's video you'll hear from Rada and you'll hear some more about some of the issues Mr. George Hamilton is facing with his phone you're watching Shan Zen Zen Jamaican vibes inspiring motivating showcasing Jamaican talents and giving back to my Jamaican oh, yeah, people chop. Oh yeah, transplant pine. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Oh, my, my name is Hendrix from Rada. Oh yes, but, sir. Um, I'm from Rada, Saint Elizabeth. Oh, yes. Realize a, cas a casking of this, a casking yeah. really the pane. St. James, yes, site, yes, basically. Yes, so I really made the office out where I uh, work with the farmers on this side. Yes. I understand me here your plight and I see the struggles and especially with the casa. Casa inputs now in terms of fertilizer and Yes, you can see it here, sir. So if you do the fertilizer with the nice. Yeah, and it's, it's still a look bad still. Everybody, so you do your best, so you keep it clean and all of that. Yeah, that's so, one of the first steps. So I make a money and some just straight yeah. back in the air. You're young, you know. Oh, you can see that yeah, young. Yeah, yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. So no food not to come out of it yet. Realize that. Yeah, so that. so if one one breeding like this. I first never breed like I this. First, you know. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, so about the crop. The crop they catch me last year still in. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the poil farm. Oh, so you had a, had a lot of spoilage last lot year? A lot of spoilage where yeah. I could get fertilized about. Yeah, li likewise other farmers too, because of the, the, the whole COVID situation, so it never really a move like how we normally have it over the years. But what happened is that um, I think rather, rather trying to, 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 to assist pineapple farmers in removing some of it whenever time it we have the excess like in May, June and so on. Okay. So we so could have taken a walk out at that side and look down the gorse, yeah, if I would have. They were yeah, not bad for Yeah, 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 we can always look. But we can't say, it really need it. Come. You need new to chance still. Come, come, come here, pass this stick here. Yes, Missy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Blessed man. <laughs> How are you doing, Miss Nola? Bad time. Mm. All right. Yes, man, I'm the one who's there and talk here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, man. I'm taking you on this video a lot. I run through your words, most of them, because I think how you can get a lot of the time when you're going down to the hill and the valley and it's like that when I want to. Yes. I mean, it goes out to you doing the work. Well, I don't know who don't do that for me in the community. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I even I go on with the thing here and have some one on plant in the heat. Now you know it's coming all them that around, but they never trouble me yet. So I don't know if they're ready for me yet. I'll give them a guide you from Maintenance, so maintain, fine people. Uh, over that section, you're, you're going over No, I'm going that side, you're going over the okay. gully here. How much acre find up here? Well, it's over to five acres. Five acres? Um, okay. I'm off the bullet. Uh, yeah, bullet then, bullet. I'm bullet. Oh, you don't have no cowboy? No cowboy. Straight bullet. Oh. Straight bullet. Okay. So, how yeah. was spread for you? You know, say, yes, sir. 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 Yes, I'm the one who works here, sir. You the one who works? Not the bad year. Mm -hmm. No, sir, for the week, you are coming and the work. Okay. That's how we do it, like, oh. Uh, all these three, I'm lock them in, sir. You uh, lock them? Yes. All these three, I them, I'm going lock them in. I'm lock them. Ask anybody in the neighborhood who work over here for me. Mm -hmm. Anybody. You balance on the tree like that? Yes. I don't want to sit behind me. <laughs> yes, sir. 
<laughs> Morning, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to go to the bamboo out there. Oh, yes, down the bamboo there. <laughs> you don't really have to put money. You really have to put money. No, no crap for the Christmas. No, no crap for the Christmas. So, how do you breed it? Are you breeding? You know, I say, I call a man and tell him that. I can breed it myself, you know, but I want to take it out of the bush. I said, that is easy work for man do. Okay, okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, uh, I can just breed that on and nothing. But we keep it, the farm clean, so. Okay, okay. When he, he man do, around two times I get a man do it. I miss do it, said we. Yes, Mr. Hendricks, you were saying that you can see that the pineapple needs n nutrition. Yeah, 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 you can see where um, there is signs of uh, nutrient deficiencies. Yeah. Yeah, so you definitely need some, maybe some, some, some amount of side dressing in terms of fertilizer. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you so you can see the drying up of some of the yeah, tips of the leaves yes. and the small fruits and so on. Yeah, yeah. so that's an indication. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, in terms of the root system. And the root system in the body can see them firmly. Yeah, they make, the side, yes, so that's the side in the brand to catch sucker, right, you know, right. people see sucker, and then don't look like you know. look at plant like this. Yeah, you can see it. We are there are deficiencies in the leaf. There's oh, some okay. purpleness inside here, so I simply right. mean maybe phosphate might be low. Yeah. And drying of some of the tips of the leaf kinda of indicate maybe low potassium and so on. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I don't like bamboo deer every day, you know. Yeah, I don't do uh, And then bamboo they remove and chin a tree and uh, smoke it. Okay, okay. Could I look like this, you know. When you have to do that, it will look good, but if you come through this, we make oh. it. So are you, are you cut all these um, water contours? Then how do you do work on it, yeah, man? Yeah, I, yeah, I hear something, yeah. I tell like bamboo water, yes, you know, man. Seed, man. You dig it out yourself, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Hamilton? Yeah, the trench them where you see people yeah, yeah, take off the water from mm -hmm. wash the land. Oh yeah. my. Yeah. I am dig them. I am dig them, Mr. Yeah, yeah. But when I tell my dad to dig them too wide too, I don't believe that. But I'm you just put them the right way. Eh? Because you don't have to go back and go dig it again. Yeah. No, no, far. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't see the water. You make you know, it bed. Water bed is there. Yeah. You put on some good work here. And, 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 and when we tell you, it's a very excellent work as a, a hillside. Hillside, and yeah. see a, a, a man like you, where, 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 where have your foot there now. Just to cover the hillside, you over here, you over here, so we pipe plant. And just so just the run them down. So and, and, and how you get to plant here, all them? Look over there, sir. Where me and I run down the land and you and, 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 and you fill it out. And we fill it out. Yeah, you fill it out, man. Please, I got talk, man. I got talk. I got talk. I got talk. I got talk. Oh my god. Hey, I am in a little hill. Yeah, yeah. You say I can't go in, go in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Man, you have two foot for them rows, eh? Yeah, man. Mm. Nothing look half way look like this. <laughs> mm. And you have one foot. Yes. Yeah, Jesus, man. You look good, you feel you look good. Yeah, man, you can't say me clean down, Ghani, if you don't like God, you know, yeah. so you can't say me live here. And then you know, you're in here every day, your daily work. You don't know, go no other way, work away from this. You can't find in this you're every day. Every day, you're yeah, just yeah, satisfied, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. what very tremendous, right. very tremendous work you are doing. Very excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so, more time, me, me just let you I, 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 I saw the ground on, 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 on the phone there, but my eyes is more brighter than seeing on the phone because me see from depth to depth, from corner to corner. And, but you know, what is <laughs> Yes, tell me that I've, I can't leave. Yeah. But I said maybe I'll travel cut and come when I could have do a five and a half day with our car. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in fact, sit down I cannot come for table. Oh, so, you so sit down in a car. Yeah. Yeah. You agree with me, so. Okay, I make it cool.
cramp up in here. And make, yeah, if I put enough mm. pad and pan in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me put enough pad and pan in so. When me sweat, no, I sweat just I got you. Yeah. So I this machine to use right along, hook it. Yeah, you look out for my machine to work. I don't know if I could have my machine. And, 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 and no, I see. From your bite, you doesn't cut off the mouth, you just sharp meat and sharp because this is where the mash is coming from, from here, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, all yeah. of the belly has gone. Yeah, And so. there's a hook on it. Yeah, so. so this is the hook where do all the work. This is the hook where. Uh, <laughs> push and push. Push, yeah. push yeah, and push. Yeah, do all push the work. Definitely. I'm not even having to try it. Yeah, yeah. Push and push. Look at it. Very handy. That's coming like a yeah, shovel. And do an inch. Okay, if I'm swimming, but you don't know me. Reaping harvest. How long Reaping. you have to wait to get the right harvest from the pine? No, well, you make harvest seed after it takes. You can live around all the time, go through by breeding, you can go crop time. Okay. Everything about crop like mango time. Yeah, because you say if you wait for the right crop time, you lose. So if you wait for the right type so you, crop time, you know, you're not going to have to. See, if you find the pine just come here, rotation, pick and beer, pick and beer, rotation. It depends on you know, then, you know. And that's where pine take me, and uh, 20 that then give me, and the rest quiet. 20 a pound? 20 dollars. Yeah, wow. Yeah, man, 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 Wow. Oh my God! You see, so how fifteen dollars? So you get twenty dollars a pound now. You can't buy nothing. You can't buy nothing. So you have to have at least five hundred pound or a thousand pound to make that money. Well, my grandfather is starving himself and buy a first size. So that twenty, twenty, that that would have been that like. But by the time you get to the money, you want one bag. Then you are out. But if we even did get a twenty dollar pound, it is still good. But it's well now. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. that you want that? You want a permanent market? Yes, that's the that's the problem. The permanent market. The marketing, and that's why we have Rada here. So that whatever they can do to assist in that department. So we will go over to Mr. Hendrix. Mr. Hendrix is a Rada man. Yes. I guess when it comes on to pineapple and the availability especially in May, June that's a natural season you'll have most of the fruits basically being a reap yeah. yes. so what happens is that you'll have supply outweighing demand so what we, we have been looking to is basically storage because within two months after that after after May, June, June. Yeah. so by late July into August there is the shortage start Okay. So if we have in enough in storage, then we can take, start releasing it slowly into the market at that time. Because normally in September and late August, they always have a high, high, high demand for pineapple. The supply is very low at that time. So if we have it in storage, then we can slowly release it into the market. So what, what we are trying, what we are looking at now, mm -hmm. is to see how best we can take it off from the farmer. Maybe at the forty or fifty dollars price and store it in containers because even at Rada St. Elizabeth not we have now we have um, a container donated to us from FAO for that very same purpose where we can do a little cold storage and then we slowly release it into the market so that is what we're looking at at Rada or through the ministry basically to oh. assist farmers in getting off the excess produce okay basically. Oh, normally when the, when the fruit just start shoot out from the from the um from the parent plant, yeah, within maybe two or so weeks after you have some nice little pretty flowers. So that, that tend to attract a certain type of butterfly. So what okay. they do is that they lay the eggs inside the, the flower itself. Yeah. And then later on when those eggs hatch, you have some little worms that go down into the pineapple. Okay. Into the young fruit. So then burrow them away down into the young fruit and then um within a few weeks they're gonna come out as um lava basically okay. and go to pupate so when they're coming out of the fruit now they basically leave a little hole so the fruit tend to want to try and um, heal itself so it secrete this kind of um sugary latex basically okay yeah okay. trying to heal itself so that's why you kind of have these holes so what we normally recommend is that um once you start to have flowering of the pineapple we normally recommend that at least once per month you apply some amount of insecticide to prevent for preventative purposes basically oh, okay so that's what happened Okay.
All right, so um, what about the, the export market? How does it go? Um, Currently, today is the what, 13th of December. Tomorrow, which will be the 14th, we're supposed to meet with some representative from, from German embassy and um, some other persons within the ministry. We will look at, we're going to do, do, we'll be doing some sampling of pineapple, different varieties we have, mm -hmm. along with the ginger just okay. to attain the quality and maybe look at some of the, the bricks level in terms of um, the pineapple and maybe the pungency in terms of the, the ginger. Right. And then from that now, we're looking at the supply, how consistent can we be to supply maybe to export it to Germany mm -hmm. and also later on even Barbados that you saw uh, appearing in the media recently. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So, so we're looking at that. So okay. as of tomorrow, we'll be doing some sampling with different varieties. Right. Look at how we can be consistent in terms of supply. Yes. So we can take off some of the produce. So what happens is that they won't just need pineapple for May and June, but they're going to need it right short. So we have to be consistent in supply. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, so how, how can rather assist him now in terms of the nutrients that they Okay. So what I'll be doing today, I'll be doing a, um, a beneficiary assessment. Yes. So after assessing the needs of the farmer, mm -hmm. then I'll correlate it and then I'll get in touch with the representative from St. James who is responsible for this area. Okay. And then through that, since he's close to the border of St. Elizabeth, yes. we can see what we can work on okay. to assess him because definitely we can see the plants really need the nutrition. Yes. And at the size, size where the young fruits are. Mm -hmm. They are about fish size now and that is the time they draw on nutrients the most. Okay. So the potassium have to be a bit there to get the size and um, calcium have to be there and boron and so on. Okay. So you definitely need the nutrients at this time so you can get the quality fruit. Yeah. You can get them sweet and big and get the weight so you can really get money in, it, in his yes, pocket. Sir. Definitely. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you for me, I need your thing where I can help. No hope for you, George. Yeah, that is the chemical like. Yes. Yeah, we have to bring the fruit. Then. Oh, you need to understand more as to yeah, how yeah, the best yeah. chemical to use yes, and it are the yeah. best so um, nutrients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. I give thanks for what he said to me. Yes, you know, yes, about yes. Chemical. And I, I know when the, the radar officer for the area visit, he will educate you more as to how to yes, go about yes, yes, yes. right right certainly you know? yeah yeah so mm -hmm. certainly he'll have um, maybe like, like put together a little program in which he's supposed to um, supply this amount of nutrients based on the, the size of the fruit or based on the, 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 the vegetative growth yeah. of the plants basically so we can put together a little program and then he follows that and plus we know the input cost is high still so we see how best we can assist in that way okay, okay? All right, thank you very much for visiting his farm, Mr. Hendrix. You're most welcome. Yes, and we hope to hear from the officer from this side very soon. Definitely. All right. <laughs> yes, Mr. Hamilton. Yes. <laughs> so, this is the going back. Yes. A little history and RADA was established under the Rural Agricultural Development Authority Act in 1990, replacing the Land Authorities Act, and began its operation on August 1, 1990. It is Jamaica's chief agricultural extension and rural development agency. I want to say thank you to Mr. Hendricks from RADA St. Elizabeth for coming in and giving his expertise and also for his commitment of fertilizers and insecticides. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Until next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor.